Did, did you listen to Jeff, Jeff and, and Professor Hemo in the morning? morning? Here's what you missed. Guys, what we're we talking man. about, we're talking about one oh, Ruben Kigame. He's a Christian leader, a musician, loves country music, mm-hmm. and inspiration. And too. <laughs> and really? Really? Why are you Why are you segregationist? I said I just <laughs> thought it was country. I do classical. I do rock. No uh, way. Oh, yes, rock. absolutely. I do rap. Ah, uh? uh, yeah. Hi, uh, do you know Nyashinsky? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite rap I just artist? walked in when you were playing Bob Marley. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Better act like you know. Yeah, you know. You know, my favorite lines from Bob Marley. Yes. Uh, is uh, 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 that one in Emancipation Song. You know, Emancipate uh, yourself from, from mental slavery. slavery. Yeah. And from slavery. <laughs> you just say slavery. Slavery. Voila. <laughs> and the point is yes. that, that that guy mm-hmm. jazzes me because of his philosophy. I'm a philosopher. Okay. I think uh-huh. and I speak. Uh-huh. Yes. And you write songs. And I write songs and yes. I write books. Oh, yes. Yes. And, and I write know. posts on Facebook. I? Yes. How do you do that? Using my fingers. How do you do it no, yourself? No, no, no. <laughs> you have a phone that you're going to bring. Oh, snap. I mean, I have a computer. You have a computer. I yes. have a phone. You have a phone. Why should I write? Is it, is it brain? Um, how do you do it? Because, because you need to talk about it. Phones that are brain? Yeah. No, I have to come No, no, no. I, I do have an iPhone. For our listeners who are wondering, what are you guys talking yeah. about? Ruben <laughs> Kigame is visually impaired. Yeah, yeah. that's and, my and, iPhone. And, 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 and wow. And this is your iPhone. So yes. he's just telling us how he uses his iPhone. Now, there's nothing like Braille on iPhones. Well, and there's nothing like an iPhone either. Yeah? <laughs> the no. iPhone is the best thing that ever happened. I think, I think Jobs died when he was trying to invent the iCar. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just getting points to drive when he died. <laughs> and in the grave with all those ideas. Man. Feeling blue. Oh, you know, wow. that's, that's the only color I see, blue. Oh, wow. Oh, really? That is the only well, color you see. Yeah. Ruben, when we come back, though. No, I feel blue. Oh. I feel colors, too. <laughs> <laughs> when we come back, we've got a lot to 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 talk about. Yes, I've got a lot of questions for one. Mm. And I'm excited, first of all, that, you are, that you are a reggae fan. Oh, well, Where are all the reggae it. fans at? Guys, like we told you, he is also a musician. And we're going to be playing his song before we come back with all these questions mm-hmm. that we have. Mm-hmm. And you just I'm, say I'm in the building? Yes, you're in the building. Building. What's a building? It's where we are. <laughs> this place. Ruben? You're in studio. Ruben, Ruben, you said you liked rap. No, I decided to use rap lingo, Ruben. And then you asked if you're in the building. Don't yeah. do that oh, to no, me. I was just checking. Don't do that to me, Ruben. Okay. <laughs> Go on, Lulu. You're the star. Go on. Lulu, do you know? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> you say he wears many hats. He does. On one head. He does more than I think ever. This is no pun intended. Eh? Christian apologetics through African eyes. Yeah. By the way, Ruben, I mean, I, I've noticed you you, ha- you, you you crack that joke a lot. You walked in here and yeah. you said, I'm happy to see you. Um, what do you mean? I mean, is there another way of meeting somebody and expressing it? I'm, I'm happy to smell you. Am I supposed to say, you yeah. know, you can say, I'm happy to touch you. I'm happy to smell you. That sounds fishy. You see, you, by that the way, by the way they, 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 no, no, yeah, yeah, I throw him out. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, there's, there's a guy called uh, William Shakespeare, uh-huh. and he wrote a book called um, King Lear. Uh-huh. King Lear. There's one character there uh-huh. called Gloucester. Gloucester says, a man may see this world without eyes. I don't think everything you know you have seen with your physical eyes. It's true, some you Sometimes see. you are dreaming and, you know, abductions come, you, you know, by the morning you have something. Yeah. Was pitch dark. Yeah. You can you can you can see with your mind. But for and you, Ruben, it was it was different because mm-hmm. you 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 weren't born visually impaired. True. Then mm-hmm. one one time you're having yeah. dinner with family. I you mess You know, so you reached out for the plate and you couldn't <laughs> get it. <laughs> yeah. True. How, how was that like? Like first you can see the world and that's yeah. how you appreciate it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden. You can't see it. Well, when you're, a child, when you're a child, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, you know, you, it, it's daylight, then it's nighttime. How old were you? Three. 
Okay. So it doesn't matter. But when you grow up, of course, reality strikes yeah. and you begin to realize, oh, what was that? You know, you mean I'm disadvantaged? Uh, you mean there are others who can do things I can't do? Mm -hmm. And so it's a choice. I, I like to tell kids in primary schools when I speak to them, it's a choice between saying the glass is half full or half empty. You can live as an optimist mm -hmm. or live like a perennial pessimist. Mm -hmm. And uh, I chose very early to live as an optimist. Uh. And, and that is not just me. That is how life should be for everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it may not be sight for you. It could be that you fail an exam, like yeah. a, a professor here. <laughs> oh, <I'm laughs> <a> professor here. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. You seem to know something we don't. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Please enlighten us. Okay, okay. <laughs> the, the, the point I'm making is uh, that you could have failed an exam, and and that gets you down. It yeah. shouldn't. Uh -huh. You could have lost a job. Mm -hmm. That shouldn't get you down. No, no, no. Uh, you you know sometimes we don't see around the corner. Uh -huh. Uh, there are some of you that need to lose jobs in order for for you to to it's move true. on in your life it's true yeah S somebody needs to sack you uh, so that true. you can get to where you need to be so that you can start your own business so that you can you know yeah i i think you know i agree with that i have this ideology that sometimes god is telling you don't go there don't go there and yeah. you still go there so he has to push you off that track and be like <laughs> yes. i told you not yeah, to go there I, I hope nobody has to go that way it's yeah. interesting you're talking about being an optimist and always yeah. seeing the glass as half full and, yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. opportunities you know mm -hmm. looking for those opportunities and and just grabbing yeah, them yeah, yeah. lulu we you, complain a lot we, and that's that's horrible so we shouldn't complain a lot i mean it's it's okay to complain because we're human beings but if we live on complaint you know, nothing will happen in our lives. You know, many times we we th we we we, it's, we talk about two or three things that go bad, when there's so many you know twenty or thirty things that go right. It's true. Yes. 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 Same but, world. But mm -hmm. how how do you make sure mm -hmm. that you still have your mind focused on the things that go right? You know. Okay. So yeah. one thing can go wrong. You may not like it, but I say it's God and God alone. You you love God and love people. That's uh -huh. it. Love, but people sometimes yeah. let you down. That's their character. Do you I still mean, love them? If, of course. If I mean, I let down people too. Uh -huh. So if 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 uh, if they didn't let me down, they would be angels. That would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not on earth. <laughs> okay. angels too. Oh, okay. So, 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 so the point is though that uh, if if you live always looking for what you don't have, you're going to live a very miserable life. But so, every day mm. you, you wake up and uh, you realize, you know, you have your two feet and. Uh, you have your brain that's working right. Yeah. You you're breathing normally. Yeah. <laughs> you know the way they tell you the aircraft. <laughs> you breathe normally. You, when you're in trouble, you're, just, you're supposed to breathe normally. <laughs> you're like, how do you, yeah, do, yeah, that? How do, you do that? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, there are guys on life support machines. That's yeah. like the point I'm making. And and you. It blessed. could be worse. Yeah, we, we're more blessed than we think. Actually. It's true. You are from the western part of Ke of, of of Kenya. Yes. Yet in your specifically. <laughs> From Bunyan yes. specifically, oh, oh, sweet yet Bunyan. you sweet. you were a radio <laughs> presenter yes. in Kameme. Was it Kameme? It was. Well, Kameme. I started which, right which here at cool. Citizen yeah. Yeah. in the year two thousand. I, I was a volunteer. Uh -huh. They didn't pay me a dime. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Well, well, okay. well, yeah, I did some some stuff. They didn't say volunteer, Ruben. <laughs> <laughs> That's what yeah, okay. the, the, yeah, I was a family radio, uh -huh. and then um, I was thrown out. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> it's what I didn't do. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> no, no, no. I just critiqued a program ah. that uh, you know um, was telling people uh, that there was a product that was free. Yeah on television and it was a preacher you know mm -hmm. um, you can get this for free uh, if you send us a gift of twenty dollars uh, and so I said if it's free why the twenty dollars yeah uh, that cost me my job <laughs> then God. And I was saying don't 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 fool people I was saying that and you still and, you walk know, you still walked out with your pride uh, like it's okay you know I mean that's what I live for Lulu yeah. the truth the truth I mean if you're charging something don't say it's free that's 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 how I live. 
iite tu hivyo iite tu hivyo bila iko lakini what you know if you stand for the truth yeah. you don't have many friends and for a person who says you love I mean, people and you know truth is my friend <laughs> truth is your friend and god is on my side then you become an enemy of so many people i don't care lulu mm-hmm. and i have been i mean I've, I've, i have enemies at church i have em- enemies in this country <laughs> Like uh, I have enemies in this studio. <laughs> you, <laughs> you have. I can assure you. <laughs> and you know. You know no, I love people thing. too. Okay, I've done radio. May I remove my headphones, please? Please. Okay. They're, they're now on obstruction. Mm. Yeah. No problem. No okay. problem. You know. The guest is always right. We said. Right. <laughs> we, said <laughs> we said that uh, you said no uh-huh. for the two referendums, and the third one you're going to always say no. Yeah. Oh, Why is this? He perennial perennial noisy. Noisy. He went to prof. Yes. You know you, there is something you cannot take away from me. Uh-huh. And that is my brains. Uh-huh. Yeah? As long as I can think, okay? Yes. If you tell me something, mm-hmm. I've got to think about it. Yes. If I read something, I've got to think about what I read. Mm-hmm. So if you write a constitution, yes. And tell me this is that document that will guide you as Ruben mm-hmm. in this country. Oh, yeah. And I am a Kenyan. If I agree with something I'll say I agree with it. Mm-hmm. If I don't, I'll tell you I, I don't. don't. And in any case, yes. we were told to choose. Yes. You either say yes or no. Or no. And people have a problem with me saying no. Yes. Yeah. What is what is the problem with people? I mean, it's not the problem with people. Yeah, it's with it is this perennial noisy. Ruben no. and Prof. Me say have they changed anything? Ruben and Prof, allow me to cut you guys short. I'm if sorry. If you don't change anything, yeah. I'm not going to change. <laughs> <laughs> But Ruben, when we come back, yeah. let's talk more about the constitution. Uh-huh. I like that. Yeah. Right. You know, and let's talk more about the no and you know, we're talking about a possible referendum yes. and what are your thoughts There are about worse things than constitutions mm-hmm. that we should say no to. Oh, really? Yeah, but anyway. But that's when we come back. Yeah. Keep the thoughts alive. Right now, the over walking, to the sports. Talking. The merchant of venom. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben, what 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 team do you support in the Premier League? Gormahia. Oh. And in the English Premier League? Why are you pushing me to the English <laughs> No, I asked when you. I am not an English. Oh, so you don't support any team in the English Premier League? Why should anybody support what they don't want to support? Why do you want me to support something I don't want? Oh goodness. Because you know I mean, people are dying and killing each other and 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 lying with bets. Huh? When we can go to Kasarani and watch you know real soccer you you know ruben i'm just like i just oh, asked I'm about the english premier league <laughs> yes you are yes. Right. i have a big gormaya hat in oh. my office but you know people are also Maluya. but you know people are also betting on on gormaya games as well i don't bet mm-hmm. I, i bet once and i lost <laughs> <laughs> you tell my us. money was not given you need <laughs> that the, the drive that germany won you know it's had been uh, Uh, do you say hijacked oh. and carjacked? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they, uh, I was coming from Germany one morning and they were coming to pick me on one of those early flights. And, uh, you know, some, some guys waylaid them um, and, uh, you know, drove around with them uh, for quite a while. Uh, so I'm at the airport waiting and waiting and, you know, I knew they would be there. They were not there. They come like an hour later and say, you know, uh, sorry. Uh, we were carjacked. What? So thankfully they were not harmed mm-hmm. and I and really God. thank God for that. Oh, yes. Yeah, so but uh, a number of my friends have been too, including someone I was doing music for and he we just finished the session and um, you know driving away he he was carjacked. Put in the boot and uh, dro- they drove around with him for a while before releasing them. They used the car to do other stuff. So um <clears throat> I know I know cases that are worse than uh, my families and, and so on. So that that's the main inspiration. Okay. Yeah. And, and the questions are big. I mean, so why do that? If you want the money, just take the money and go. Yeah. If you want the car, take the car, go. Leave people alone. Yeah. Ruben, and if there's anybody listening out there, God will judge you. I hate you. <laughs> no, we yeah, don't I mean, hate. I that. Yeah. No, Ruben, you, you know? talk okay. about love. Yes, okay, you can't say that. <laughs> I'm getting angry. I was, I was doing a hard stand on you, Ruben. No more. 
Oh, oh. They, they need to change um, the <laughs> Okay, I hate what they do. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I'll take that. Nope. <laughs> Ruben, <laughs> family seems to be a big part of your life. Mm -hmm. In uh, 2006, you started your own radio station in Eldoret, Fish FM, mm -hmm. you called it. Mm -hmm. why, why Fish FM, though? Uh, it was a gospel station, and yeah. I mean everything is gospel nowadays that is not, but mm. uh, the gospel, uh, good news. <laughs> oh, he went there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but th that's the truth. Yeah. Truth be told. So um, I, uh, I wanted a clearly uh, Christian station, but that was holistic. And so I was not going to say Bible FM, mm. but um, exactly what Jesus told us to do, and that is to fish the lost. And literally, fishing the lost is not about telling them, you know, come to Jesus and get saved. It's about their totality. Okay. You know, if something is ruining a young person, you know, like drugs, or someone is making the wrong choices to go, you know, uh, to, to live immoral mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah. Uh, we want to fish them out. So fish your Yes, yeah. exactly. And so in 2006, you started fish your mm -hmm. but at the same time, you also lost your, your wife to, yeah, to, I know. A, to a car accident. Yeah, no, that was terrible. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. I, it's it's one of those things you never quite heal from. Yeah. Uh, we've, we've been the best of friends, uh, my wife and I, uh, we'd lived together for like 15 years. Yeah. And uh, had two, two children. Mm -hmm. And so it was, uh, it was the blackest day in my life. Yeah, yeah, how, September how, how 5th. Did, how did you deal with that? How did I or how do I? Because how, how uh, yeah, no you? one really gets over completely okay. mm -hmm. the loss of a friend, a loved one like that one. Yeah. And so it's how I have coped. Um, okay. Oh, you've uh, coped. Yeah. I mean, I you cope. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and as, uh, as a, a Kenyan, eh? Yeah. Eh, uh, umona gazeti ya matabia ya watu. Yeah. Wana ongea yeah. kusu, yeah. ni, ni vizuli natumia kuona. Yeah. 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 Amesema yeah. kuona siyo macho. Get kuna. over that. Get yes. over that. Yes. Let's, let's, let's talk. Let's talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, look so at her She looks good. <laughs> <laughs> she's my... Okay, so you've seen, mm -hmm. Jusy, we, we were discussing yeah. bidets uh -huh. and uh, five-star treatment, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and that is all we are talking about. Mm -hmm. As a Kenyan, what is it? What is I this feel a problem? Any, anyone who spends... The, the, the you know uh, a big chunk of the day discussing Kenyan politics is a fool. Yes, yes, that is what you because think. I mean, you, you know, Kenyan politics yes. is all about personalities. Mm -hmm. It's who said this versus who who hit the other one in parliament, and you know, it, it's it's about who who is uh, bribing who. Mm -hmm. That is all we are kept busy watching and listening to but, i have no time for that but you say once we get issue oriented mm -hmm. i'll be very interested in kenya's parliament in kenya's media mm -hmm. in you know i don't watch news anymore you don't no i listen to radio uh -huh, that's a good because thing. you can pack it up in five minutes <laughs> but 30 45 minutes of you know who's but, I mean, okay, as I but, still recover uh, yeah. from the fact that Hamo just slashed my question as oh, you were answering. Oh, you oh, oh, oh. Yes, I did it. You were oh, answering oh, it. Oh, oh, just your I'm a peacemaker. You know. No, we are a peacemaker. Oh, yeah, okay. oh, let, let, let me still. Let me still. You can buy your hamburger. Yes, yes. he should. Yes. Ruben <laughs> has it. I will. There's a hamburger with my name on it somewhere. For you. <laughs> anything, anything for you. But but now that we're discussing politics, yeah. Yeah. and I'm just thinking, Ruben, the, mm -hmm. politics means you know who's taking the, the what, when, how, you know. So all of us should be involved all of us should, should start talking about I, it I am so why do you discourage I, no it? i am involved but once you bring up an issue i'll talk once you begin to tell me you know lulu woke up this morning feeling so bad why not just go to talk to lulu and help her mm -hmm. yeah why why should it become a national discussion yeah, if, and, and if somebody is, you know, we have in the constitution, the so-called constitution, a chapter on ethics. Yes. As if we have to always check, okay, who's being the good boy? Who's, I don't want that. But shouldn't we? Shouldn't what? we have um, institutions to check? To yes, check us? they are good. The institutions are good. The mm -hmm. issue is, do we use them? But I mean, in this country, you know, the cr if 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 a poor man steals, yeah. Yeah. it's called theft. If a if a rich man steals, yes. those in power steal, it's called transfer of property. <laughs> 
from Kenya uh, that's to the truth I mean people have killed in this world they're walking costs course free mm -hmm. in this country yeah but isn't but that there why are we have people in, in, in prison that shouldn't be in prison. But Yangi was talking about that yesterday. Mm -hmm. yeah. But Yangi was talking about that, about people who shouldn't really be in prison. Mm -hmm. Reduce that number. Yes. Watoe, you know, petty crimes and I mean, kama mtu wa meiba kuku ya mtu, si ya nipigie, ni mpe elfu moja anunue kuku, arudise. Uta, uta pigie wa tu wengi, Ruben. Ni sawa. Now, look, <laughs> because there are other ways of teaching them how to get the money. Now, but you look at the politicians in this country. Who ever gets jailed after they commit a crime? How long does it take? You know, people, you know, Kenya. I don't know how to tell you this, Lulu and, and uh, Amo. Hmm. The point is, this country is rotting because we have bad leadership. Very bad. People who think they're invincible, untouchable, even by God. Sometimes I wish God would pull down a machine gun or something. Just, you know, get them out of office. But Ruben, we elected the same people. You ran for office. Yes, I did. Um, mm -hmm. And they didn't choose me. And they didn't choose you. And you, yeah. you said and you were shocked. And you're like, I was shocked, the yes. other candidates but bribed I the voters. I, I actually conceded. Mm -hmm. So go on. So you only, so it's not lack of choice. I was a part of the choice. But yeah. Kenyans will always choose that way because they, they can be bought for a piece of bread. Man. So when do we stop being bought for a piece of bread? When do we, we start seeing stop, the light? We will stop, but it's after all these old styled politicians die. But then they wow. have already taught other younger wow. ones. No, the young people are not going that direction. Mm -hmm. And it's not only in Kenya. Look at Uganda and Bobby White. Yes. They're not going that direction. This is nonsensical. But who, what, what I think will change, but it's the young people that will change it. I guess you politics now in You already know the president before you vote. in Kenya. And it had a billion in the yeah. so, so If you steal, I'll just say you stole. Mm -hmm. I, I can't baptize it anything else. But what? you see, the many, when I mean he. Let's, let's talk the constitution. Mm -hmm. let's, let's you talk see, the constitution. because I know you'll chase me out of here before night. Mm. So, the, the constitution, why, why did I say no yeah. to the constitution? Number one, mm. because it was written badly. Number two, because it had bad proposals. What do you mean? For ex Let me just take an example of a bad proposal. Mm -hmm. You devolve corruption, you'll never get rid of it. But what? was this the problem? Why see, did if, want if to our leadership is bad at the top, mm -hmm. if you just make more leaders uh, on the side <laughs> without dealing with the concept and philosophy of leadership, mm -hmm. you will never change. In fact, you will multiply your problems. You are stealing as a state. Now you steal from every corner. But was the constitution really made for development or was it made to curb... Um, I, I won't call it tribalism, but the idea that what we to Amumia, that was that was the essence of the constitution, right? And once you create a constitution with that as your philosophy, you it, it will always be me versus you. Oh. So how do we kill that? That no, you see, that notion let's ask a cause, uh, the question: What is a constitution? Mm -hmm. First, and the lawyers are not answering that either. What is a constitution? You had a committee of experts. We went writing a constitution. Bring all your ideas. Let's put them all together. And, you know, without asking, what do we really want? What kind of country do we want? Yes, it's true. Once you know what you want, then you create what you want. Right now, we are going to have to change the constitution. How many years later? About eight or nine years later. Mm -hmm. What for? What for? And and the taxes are going up, corruption is going through the window, the government is borrowing every, you know, right, left, right and center and, and putting the debt on our children. And we think it's business as usual. We think the roads are the mark of economy and growth. If people are not changing, if I'm still living in slums, if is, I'm, I still can't get 50 shillings in my pocket a day, you do all your constitutions you want. You do everything you want. Nothing is changing. You, you build an SGR that you know, nobody can afford because they're perpetually poor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or true. you do something for yourself. All this, I, I mean, all I'm saying is we're not asking the real questions. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it's a very expensive thing to continue doing the same thing wrong. Ruben, maybe mm. because uh, ask, asking the real questions would mean, you know, um, digging deep 
uh, uncovering wounds, you know, because like I had said earlier, yeah. the, the the constitution was amended because of the essence that it wanted to curb the una watu wetu wa so why not devolve? That is what is killing us. Mm. Yes. Like in Tamaliza, Nadia Mambuya watu wetu. Nella, because every yes, time see, there is no. an election, yeah. we you look at watu wetu. Yeah. Tutaka to say, meata sisi watu wa cost, but meata wa sana. True, but you, you know? know we are waiting for election time to discuss that. <sighs> oh yeah. This is the time to discuss. It's true. But it's who's that. talking about it? How do we start that discussion? Me. It's me. I hear you. I'm talking about it on my social media. Mm -hmm. By the way, I have a Facebook page. Aha. Uh -huh. Media. Mm -hmm. I have a Twitter handle at Ruben underscore Kigame. Let's talk! And then, Maybe. once we talk, and then what? Let's or act. let's just let's start? act. Okay. Yes. You can't talk forever. Let's act. And there comes a time when, as a people, we just have to say enough is enough. Mm. So if somebody comes to us and begins to campaign now, yeah. Yeah. For a seat in 2022. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we just came from an election. Oh, so are we going to perpetually leave campaigning? Uh -huh. Is that what life is for? No. No. No, no. it's not. And do you think mm -hmm. it's it's a, it's a lack of philosophy? You know, Mr. Ma, we, we, who, who, what is Kenya? We need you to know that the, the, as a Kenya. Substitute the word philosophy with value. value. We what have is? no values. We don't. It's so true. Uh, yeah. It is so and true. And you see... If you don't have values, mm -hmm. somebody is going to give you their values. So in, you know what, Ruben, the other day I was talking about, every time we hear about millions being mm -hmm. being stolen in government, yeah. do we feel like, uh, you know, what, what hurts us the most, the lost money or the lost values? It's usually the lost money. I like money. that, Lulu. Yeah? That is the question. Mm -hmm. What would be more painful? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me to lose my values or for me to lose a million shillings? True. The values that and so the, 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 the heart cry for every Kenyan right now should be values. Let's return to what are our values. And we have it in the Constitution, you know, uh, Chapter 10. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have it, at Article 10, excuse me. Uh, we do have it there. That, and this is what we, we even have an ethics chapter. But yes. who looks at it? Nobody. Everybody <laughs> looks at you know issues to do with finance. Parla parliament, <laughs> finance, yeah. evolution, procurement. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so true. Thank you so much, uh, Ruben Kigami. Um, Ruben Kigami has his books out. Uh, this is yes. the Road Reflection. Mm -hmm. And what book do you have on your side? Christian apologist, uh, apologetics through African eyes. Where, where can we get them? They can get them on my website, www.kigamemedia.org. You can order, we can deliver, or you can go to the All Saints uh, Cathedral Bookshop if you're in Nairobi, or Kumbusho Bookshop in Mombasa, uh, or you can come to me in Eldoret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a phone call away. I, I mean, uh, I can give you my office line too, uh -huh. so you can call if you're stuck. Yes, uh, 720, 0720, mm -hmm. 22, so That's 0720229999. Yes. Thank you so much, Ruben. It has been a pleasure. It was a joy. Thank, so Thank you Thank you. Catch Jeff Koinange and Professor Hamo every day, Monday to Friday from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. only on Hot 96.